Freckle Squad, it's a super hot day today, and that means it's perfect for pool time. Finally, it's pool season. Come on, Ellie, I'll race you to the pool. Jimmy, no head start. Time for a very special Jimmy Cannonball. In three, two, whoa, whoa. Jimmy. <laughs> no cannonballs today. You see, today is adult swim. That means no kids, just grown-ups. Adult swim? Oh, I really wanted to get some pool time. I guess we'll come back in a half hour? Nope, 24 hours. 24, 24 hours? This can't be happening. Ellie, tell Coach Rocco we can't do this. Yep, 24 hours. That means I get the whole pool to myself. I'm the only adult here. So no more cannonballs, no more swimmy spin a -roonies. just peace and quiet. Once I get into this pool, I won't leave for 24 hours. You watch me. Oh yeah? Well, Coach Rocco, how about we propose a challenge? If we can get you out of the pool before the 24 hours is up, that means adult swim is over for the rest of the summer. Okay, challenge accepted. But I'm telling you, you're wasting your time. You're not gonna get me out of this pool. Oh, you're on, Coach. <laughs> Boys and girls, if you wanna see adult swim be over for the rest of the summer, give me a big thumbs up. Come on, Jimmy, let's do this. Ah, not so fast. You won't be needing Mr. Floaty today. But you don't even know how to properly take care of him. This time you've gone too far, Coach. Ah, see you in 24 hours. <laughs> don't you worry, Mr. Floaty. I know how to take care of you. We're going to spend the whole day together. There you go. Let adult swim begin. <laughs> oh. Oh. Are you sure this is gonna work, Jimmy? No doubt about it, my sparkle friend. It's very simple. Since only grown-ups are allowed in Adult Swim, I just disguised us both as grown-ups. And as a bonus, we get to see what we're gonna look like when we're older. <laughs> you know, I've always wanted to grow a mustache. All right, Jimmy, I trust you. But make sure you have a fake name ready if Coach asks you for one. Oh, don't worry about that. Jimmy's the best in the world when it comes to fake names. Oh, hello there. Um, we're new members of the pool club, and we saw that there was this adult swim and wanted to check out what it's all about. Oh, well, you came to the right place. Um, my name is Coach Rocco, but um, since you're adults, you can call me Rocky. Just don't tell my students that. <laughs> Rocky Rocco? <laughs> what a very interesting name. Oh, I'm Gertrude, but my grandkids call me Nana. And I'm Jimmy the Oldster, but you can call me Jimmy. Uh, your name is Jimmy? Um, he means Timmy. Timmy with a T, not Jimmy with a J. Oh, that must be this mustache that's getting in the way. <laughs> uh, well, uh, it's so good to meet you. It's so good to have adults around. Enough of those kids talking about Roblox this and Brookhaven that. <laughs> oh, yeah. We don't want those pesky kids getting in on our swim time. What do you say, Timmy? Want to dive right in? You bet. I think it's about time for a cannonball. Oh, maybe you shouldn't do a cannonball. It's not very adult of you. Did anyone record that? Oh, that was a good cannonball, but wait a minute. Where's your mustache and your hat? And you don't look old anymore. Jimmy, that's you. Uh-oh, busted. Let's make a run for it, Ellie. Come on. I told you to. Adult swim is for adults only. Now you're not going to trick me. 24 hours. This is mine. Coach Rocco's pool. No, oh, I can't believe that my cannonball spoiled our plans like that. That was a really good plan. But on the bright side, it was a really good cannonball. Lucky for us, I have another plan that'll get Coach Rocco out of the pool. You see, he won't be able to stay inside the pool without getting really hungry, and I've got just the thing to make him extra hungry right away. Hold on a second, is that pizza? Oh boy, my favorite. You got olives and anchovies, right? This pizza isn't for us, Jimmy. It's for Coach Rocco to get out of the pool. You see, when he comes out to get a slice, Bam! Adult Swim is over, and it's back to swimming for us. Huh, that does sound pretty smart. But can I be the one who delivers the pizza? Pretty, pretty, please? Um, I don't 
don't think so, Jimmy. I think pizza makes you a little crazy sometimes. But just stay here and keep an eye out in case I get into any trouble. Okay, if you say so. But uh, try to save me a slice if you can, okay? An extra cheesy one, please. Special delivery for Mr. Coach Rocco, sir. Yes, I'm Mr. Coach Rocco. Is, is that a pizza? That's right. One large pepperoni pizza for Mr. Rocco. Oh, wowee, how did you know I wanted a pizza? Well, if you could just plop it on this floaty, I'll get to eating. I no can do. We do not put our pizza on the floaty or it'll get soggy. You know, the pizza will taste much better if you eat it outside the pool. That's a delivery rule. Oh, those pesky delivery rules. Well, I can't get outside of the pool, so... Are you sure? Not even for a delicious pizza? This yummy, hot, scrumptious, wonderful, amazing pizza. All right, if you don't want this yummy, scrumptious, amazing, wonderful pizza, I guess I'll give it to Huh? Jimmy, my pizza! Jimmy, come on! He was about to get out of the pool. Nice try, you two, but you're not gonna get old Coach Rocco out of this pool. Hey! Could you leave that pizza here? I'm really hungry. All right, I'll just take the crusts. I know you don't eat the crusts. Oh, I'm so hungry. I haven't heard anything in a while. I bet they're in the rooms playing Roblox. That means right now is a good time for me to sneak out and have a little break. <laughs> All right, I'll be back, Mr. Floaty. Now I'm not breaking any rules of the challenge. I'm just gonna go in, get a little snack, and I'll be right back. Ellie and Jimmy won't know a thing. <laughs> it's actually a perfect plan. <laughs> All right. Wait right there. All right. Oh, these are good. Oh, these are delicious. Some of these, some of this, some of that thing. All right. <laughs> oh, Jimmy! Well, well, well. If it isn't Coach Rocco, getting a little snack, I see. You know, I'm pretty sure it's illegal to go in the kitchen for this challenge, but let me just check with Ellie to be sure. Oh, oh Ellie! Oh, be quiet, <laughs> Shh, Jimmy, all right? Ellie doesn't have to know about a thing, okay? Uh, why don't you and I make a little deal? I'll let you sneak into the pool, do all the cannonballs you want, and you just keep it our little secret, okay? Ellie will be so disappointed if she finds out, huh? Hmm. Well, you drive a hard bargain, Coach. I would like to do some cannonballs, but I don't know. Ellie is my best friend and all. All right! How about I give you this whistle, huh? Yeah? Yep, you, you can have the whistle. You can be a coach for the week. You can make your own rules. A whistle? I've always wanted one of these things. All right, Coach Rocco, you got yourself a deal. <laughs> Shh, Ellie, I'm gonna hear you! Shh. Hey, who's blowing the... Hey, Coach Rocco, you left the pool. Ellie, I can explain everything. I was just so hungry and Jimmy ate the whole pizza and how was I supposed to stay in the pool for 24 hours and not eat a thing? Oh, hey, Ellie, guess what? Coach Rocco gave me his whistle. Andy said that I could make the rules for the rest of the week. Oh, no, our deal's off. I said that you can have that stuff if you didn't tell Ellie. Hey, I didn't tell Ellie. The whistle did. 
I know one thing's for sure. Adult Swim is officially off. It's still early enough to go swimming. Hey, Jimmy, I'll race you to the pool. You're on, Ellie. <laughs> oh, no, Ellie, Jimmy, you get back here. <laughs> oh, my whistle. <laughs> Actually, it looks a little bit cold. You know what, Ellie, on second thought, why don't you just jump in? Ladies first. Um, why don't we test it out together? Let's sip a toe in. Ah! Ooh, Ooh, that's definitely cold. cold. So cold. Hello there, summer campers. I'm glad I caught you before you dived in. Coach Rocco did a boo-boo and I forgot to turn on the pool heater. So no pool today, it's too cold. No, that's fine, Coach Rocco. Don't worry about it. I'll just play some Roblox on my phone instead. What other activities have we got lined up, Coach Rocco? Well, I figured we could uh, decorate the Christmas tree. <laughs> no, uh, have a snowball fight. Oh, hey guys, check out this super cool new challenge. Oh, I've heard about this. This is the scavenger hunt challenge. You're supposed to take three pictures of nature and then post on Instagram and you'll win an all-you-can-eat pizza party. An all-you-can-eat pizza party? Mm -hmm. Oh, we gotta do this challenge. Then I can show you all how many pieces of pizza I can eat. You just need to find these three things. A woodpecker, some long lost treasure, and a beaver dam. And with all the forests and streams around here, we're sure to win! And we can use my cool flip phone! <laughs> Coach Rocco, I don't even think that phone has a camera. I sure it does. <laughs> Look. Boys and girls, if you want to help me, Coach Rocco, and Jimmy win this all you can eat pizza party, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Come on, team, let's head out! We got some pizza to win! Yay! <laughs> Where's Jimmy? He's supposed to help us find this woodpecker. Last I heard from Jimmy, he was supposed to help us find the long lost treasure part of the challenge. Well, we shouldn't be separated. These woods are dangerous. You never know what you'll find. It's not too dangerous. I mean, summer camp is right over there. You don't know. There could be an angry gorilla waiting up there. Or a hippopotamus with its mouth wide open. I assure you there are no gorillas or hippopotamuses. Around. Giraffes. Giraffes? No giraffes. Bears! Well, maybe bears. <laughs> What's that? It's a bear! I don't think that's a bear. What is that? Uh-oh. It's... It's... What? Run! Uh, oh, no need to run, Ellie. It's a kitty cat. How are you doing? You shouldn't be out here all on your own. It's dangerous. <laughs> what gorgeous colors you have. Aww. Coach! Coach! Wait, Coach? Oh, I must have ran so far and so fast I must have lost him. I hope he's doing okay with that skunk. Coach is right. These woods can be a little bit dangerous. I should probably stay on the edge of the woods. Wait, do you hear that? Huh, sounds like somebody hammering a nail up a tree. Gotta check this out. <gasps> wow, look at that! It's a woodpecker! It's so pretty! Look at all its colors and that beak. That must be what that hammering noise was earlier. The woodpecker is using his beak to hammer into the tree to find insects to eat. Unfortunately, woodpeckers are endangered, which means there are far less now than there were before. That means we have to be responsible and make sure that we protect these little creatures. <laughs> and that means staying far away from them and only taking photos of them if we want to keep a memory of them. All right, time to take this picture of the woodpecker before it flies away. Zooming in, got it. Step one of the scavenger hunt complete. Ellie, Ellie, look what I found. Hi, Jimmy, is that a metal detector? I call it a treasure finder. I tried to ask Coach Rocco to show me how to use it, but he's too busy playing with Stinky the Cat. Stinky the Cat? You mean Stinky the Skunk? And Coach is playing with it? <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't figure out how this works. Well, I've seen Coach Rocco use this to find loose coins in the yard. Basically, all I have to do is turn these little knobs right here. Here we go. <gasps> and when it beeps, <laughs> that's when you know you found something. Awesome. Did you find anything yet? 
Well, how about now? When it beeps, Jimmy. Anything? Are you sure it's working? Anything? When it beeps! Anything? What about now? Anything? Jimmy. Anything yet? Jimmy. Oh, come on, I thought I heard something. Anything? Jimmy, wait. Are you sure? Jimmy. Anything? What about now? What Jimmy! About now? Do you hear that? That means that there's something under here, and it could be long lost treasure. Treasure, here I come. <laughs> oh, come to Jimmy. We're rich, I tell you. They're jewels, Ellie, they're jewels. But this looks more like a girly bracelet, not treasure. Jimmy, that's my old bracelet from last year that I thought I'd lost. Oh my gosh, I was so sad when I lost it. This truly is long lost buried treasure. Quick, take a photo of it. All right, say cheese. Cheese? <laughs> awesome! Step two of the scavenger hunt complete. All right, well, you can keep your girly treasure. I'm off to find some big boy treasure. We're gonna be rich, I tell you. We can live like kings. But Jimmy, we have one last step of the scavenger hunt to do. Oh well, I gotta go do it by myself. Oh, with the help of you, Sparkle Squad. Yay! Next we have to find a beaver dam. Well, I know beavers like to build dams near water, so let's find a pond or stream nearby. Come on, let's do this. So this is the longest stream I can find on campgrounds. Hmm, beavers like to build their dams along streams, so this should be the perfect place. Mr. Beaver, where are you? Let me take a look. I think I see one over there. Yep, that's a beaver all right. It looks like he's finding sticks to build his dam. Did you know that beavers can hold their breath for 15 minutes underwater? That is longer than me, Coach Rocco, and Jimmy put together. They're so cool. Let's get closer. Oh, what's that over there? I think I see it. It's the beaver dam. Beaver dams are awesome. Firstly, because beavers use their big teeth to chop up small trees to make it. And it's a place to store their food, and it's a home for them to sleep in. <laughs> Gotta take a picture. Thanks, Mr. Beaver. Got it. That's one, two, three shots uploaded. And that means we won the scavenger hunt challenge. Yay! Ooh, I'm so hungry for pizza, I gotta tell the others. <laughs> Ellie, there you are. You're not gonna believe this. Give me that. Ow! Oh, that's much better. Turns out my cat that Coach Rocco spent all day with wasn't a cat after all. It's really a skunk, and he really is stinky, too. Yeah, stinky allowed me to believe he was a cat all day, and then he had the nerve to spray me. I was sprayed and betrayed. <laughs> Today is a terrible day. To make things worse, I didn't find any buried treasure either. All I found was an old shoe. I guess that means we don't win the scavenger hunt, huh? Well, while you guys were getting sprayed and finding shoes in the yard, I've actually been the one completing the scavenger hunt challenge. You know what? It was pretty hard, but... You know what this means? Pizza! Now I can finally show you how many slices I can eat. Yeah! It just goes to show, when you're focused on your goals, you can achieve anything. But before mm. you can eat any more, I need you to do one more last thing. <laughs> Take a bath, please, especially you, Coach Rocco. Oh. oh, well I heard that when you get sprayed, you can take a bath in tomato sauce and that gets rid of the smell. So maybe if I take some pizza and rub it on myself, that'll, that'll help, right? That oughta do it. What's up, Sparkle Squad? Guess what? I just got finished digging a hole for my latest adventure, a time capsule. So I have this treasure chest that I filled with all sorts of my favorite belongings. And now I'm just going to bury it for someone in the future to find. Here we go. Just one last step.
there we go. Good luck, Time Capsule. I'll see you again, hopefully, way in the future. Hey there, Coach. What you doing? I'm picking up your mess. It looks like you didn't do your chores this morning. Well, technically, it's still 11.59, Coach, and you know what that means. It's still technically morning, so I still got time to do my chores. Well, get to it and see what that thing is there. I nearly broke my neck tripping over that. Huh. Well, what is it? I'm not sure. I've never seen this before, and I'm pretty old, you know. Hey, guys. What are you looking at? Ellie, can you tell us what this is? Oh, I think I know what that is. It's my old time capsule from when I was younger. I buried this long ago for people like us in the future to look back on old memories. Oh, that sounds scary to me. Yeah, it's giving me the heebie-jeebies. Let's get out of here. No, it's not scary at all. It's fun to look back on our old memories when we were much younger. Oh, oh my gosh. Do you remember this party happened when you two threw me a birthday party years ago? How long ago was that? I can't remember that. <laughs> wow, Ellie, these cookies are delicious. Yeah, you gotta bring these to my birthday. Thanks, you guys. Consider it done. Hey, let's play charades. I wanna play animal charades. I'm gonna pick an animal and you gotta guess what it is. Oh, well, it just so happens that my favoriteest place in the whole world is the zoo. So I'm kind of what you would call an animal expert. <laughs> awesome! Let's get started. One, two, three. But she's carrying something. Who carries something? I got it. You're a school bus. A school bus? No. Okay, so I'm not supposed to give hints in the game of charades, but I'll do it this first time. It's animal charades. So think about animals. Boing. Boing. She's bouncing. Boing. She's bouncing Boing. up and down. You're a oh. basketball. Oh. No, silly, it's an animal. She's bouncing, she's bouncing. It's a whale, it's a whale. Come on, you guys. Boke is here. So, this animal hops. It lives in Australia, and it carries its young in its pouch. I give up. Yeah, me too. I'm no good at this charades. I'm better at sports. Guys, it's a kangaroo. <laughs> I thought you guys would get that. A kangaroo? That doesn't look anything like a kangaroo. You should have been more like this. Kinga, kinga, kangaroo. No, 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 that's not how it does. Here, hold this. I'll show you what a kangaroo does. It jumps like this and it chews at the same time. No, 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 no. You gotta get the clap. Oh, like this. Chewing on something. Now they chew. They chew. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. I still remember how tasty that cookie was. Oh, yes. With all those chocolate chips, nothing in the middle. Okay, fellas, let's move on with the time capsule. Oh, there's still plenty of memories in here, like this one. It's a laser gun from the future. No, oh, no, it's a, an ice cream scooper. No, it's a pizza cutter. I don't remember that. I do. I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> Special delivery! Fresh hot pizza coming right up! Ah, oh, perfect timing. I'm starving after a full day of summer activities. What do I do? We just play basketball. Good idea, because this one's got all his favorite toppings. Doesn't it smell delicious? Mm-hmm. <laughs> My delicious pizza! It's ruined! Hey! You found my basketball! So, what's for lunch? And voila! Since clumsy old Coach Rocco dropped the pizza in the pool, Chef Jimmy is here to save the day with my very special lunch a Spectacular! What's a better poolside treat than some hot dogs? I'll show you my super secret recipe. First, you put on the condiments. Let's start with some mustard. Mmm, smells good already. Next up, potato chips. These babies really hit the spot. Mmm, and now for my personal favorite condiment, spaghetti. What hot dog is complete without a little spaghetti garnishing the top? 
and just one final, very special ingredient left. Hot sauce, to give it a little zest, you know, a little zing. <laughs> I love hot sauce. Just a touch. Oh no! Oh, oops. Well, I'll be better with this one. Come on, just a little, oh! Yikes! Ugh. Well, I hope they don't mind their hot dogs a little, uh, spicy. Oh, Ellie, Coach Rocco, lunch is ready. Ta-da! Chef Jimmy's world-famous lunch rooney special is complete. Awesome, I'm starving. Is that hot sauce I'm smelling? Exactly how much hot sauce did you put in there, Jimmy? Ooh, <laughs> I love hot sauce. Good choice, I love spicy food. Bone apple teeth. I don't know what that means, but it's something I always hear chefs say. All right, dig in, Ellie. Um, you know what, Coach? I'm gonna watch you enjoy yours first. Oh, well, okay, more for me, I guess. <laughs> Are you okay, Coach? <laughs> Jimmy Water? Jimmy, how much hot sauce did you put in this? A little here, a little there, a little here and there. It's like, I just gotta tell you something. Don't panic! Don't panic! I'm using my cheeks as a flotation device! <laughs> oh, that's so much better. Ooh. Ooh! The water tastes like pizza! You got any food in that uh, box of there, yours? No, Rocco, there's no 50-year-old food in the time capsule. But there is this pretty rock. Remember when we found this one by the creek? How could I forget that day? That was the day we saw the, the monster, monster frog. frog. Oh, please don't tell the story about the monster frog. Thanks for helping me pick up trash coats. Oh, you're welcome. I think it's great that you're working hard to clean up the environment, and we don't want litter in the water now. Yeah, especially since there are animals in there. You know, frog skin is so sensitive to chemicals that any garbage that's in the water could be poison to the little guys. Poor little green guys. You know, I've always been a little bit scared of those frogs, but they still deserve to live garbage free. I agree. Hey, look at this cool rock I found. <laughs> Whoa, no way! Hey guys, you gotta come see this! What's up, Jimmy? I just saw the biggest frog in the whole world. It looked like a monster frog almost. Monster frog? Oh, I don't like the sound of this. I gotta get a picture of it so I can show the whole science class. Hey, is that him? There he is. Wait a second, where'd he go? Come on back, I need to get your picture. Here, froggy. Here, frogger. <laughs> hey kids, uh, I'm all for saving the planet and critters of the green variety, but monster frog, that's a little too slimy for my taste. <laughs> you feel me? Coach Rocco, <laughs> just stay right where you are. Don't move. Jimmy, get your phone. All right, just stay there. I'm Wait. gonna be famous. Don't tell me. The frog is on me? Don't be scared. It's perfectly harmless. It's probably more scared of you than you are of it. Say cheese. Stay calm. Stay calm. Get it off me! Get it off me! Coach Rocco, you flinch. It's just a little green guy. Ruin my picture. <laughs> wow, that frog was huge. I wonder whatever happened to him. He probably just jumped right back in the nice clean water and lived a long, happy life. Yeah, that was so long ago. See, that's why the time capsule is so great, so we can look back on all our memories. What other little goodies do you have in there? Oh no, not again. Go truck, oh, stay right there. No. Don't move. Don't tell me, don't tell me it's him again. Oh. Monster Fly! 